how'd you feel just seeing that last shot just go up and just rend in and now what was going through your mind at that? Honestly, at that point, I was pretty emotionless because we've been on the other side of that going in, you know, and I just was waiting to see what happened, honestly. Like, I wasn't like, <gasps> or, you know, there were no gasping, wondering what's going to happen. I was like, if it goes in, it goes in. If they beat us, they, you know, just ready to see what had happened. We told our team what we wanted them to do, and they ended up taking a pretty tough shot because her fumbling it, I think, made made that happen and didn't allow her to get to the basket. When I was more worried they were going to get to the basket and then create an offensive rebounding situation they'd be able to put back in pretty easy. So, I mean, if she made that, it was a tough shot, and it was halfway down. It was, she got a pretty good look at it and, and almost did it. Just going through, I mean, with the final part of the game coming down to free throws, basically, mm -hmm. um, and knowing that hasn't really been a strong part of the team for some, most part of the year, just, I guess, how impressed were you that at the end that Courtney was able to knock down those free throws and keep keep her poised? Well, know? I mean, she. Pl I thought she played a very good floor game for us all, you know, Defensively, offensively, she led us in assist. Um, and I think the program that she came from in high school, she's used to playing in big games, rivalry games, state championship type games. So to her, like to be in that situation is something that she's used to and kind of strives for. Um, you know, Raven missed the front end, and that's really not typical of her. Usually in the last three minutes, she's, she's pretty much money. So, um, I, and they're pretty close. I think our young kids and stuff, they, they look at it like, if you miss, I have your back. Don't worry about it, Raven. I'll make mine. And Courtney stepped up, a lot of confidence, and just knocked him down. And just going into um, with, the, I mean, you have a, the pretty, your bench overall played pretty well, but just to listen, Becker, just in general, mm -hmm. giving you 18 points off the bench, and just right, during this final stretch of that first half, I mean, she put in like 10 points, I think, within say like seven minutes. I don't have it yeah. off the top of my head right now, but yeah. just her contribution as a whole throughout the yeah. game. Well, we tweak some stuff with our offense and it allows her to face up a lot more. And, you know, I think she's a lot more comfortable doing that. And she's got a really nice skill set for her size and great touch around the basket. So um, she's incorporating some of the low post footwork we work on a lot in addition to what she already, you know, came to us with. And so um, when she plays like that with the bounce in her step, a lot like Raven, when they come and play with energy like that, they're very, very good post players. And it's really tough, I think, to guard either one of them one-on-one. -on -one. So it'd be nice if we have a game where they both show up and you know have close to a double-double at that position. So hopefully, you know, the longer they play together, that happens. And just going in, it seemed like your ball movement and ball rotation was much smoother this game. You got mm -hmm. a lot more assists. Yeah. Just touching that a little bit as well. Um, well, we, we wanted them to have to play defense and, you know, guard the ball ball reversal, two or three reversals before we took a jump shot. And I think most teams, you make them guard two, three reversals, they break down because it's hard to be disciplined to guard for 30 seconds. Most teams want to go down and score. And Eastern Kentucky typically shoots the ball quick. They want to get, want you to shoot it quick, so they can go down and shoot it quick. And we didn't want to play into that. And just the last three games, when you won three straight, the victories have all came a little bit different. I guess just what has been one thing that's been consistent in those games that you've liked from your team? I think our team expects to win. You know, honestly, I think they went to the Eastern Illinois game, and when they overcame that deficit, they, they expected to beat them. And once they saw, like, we're pretty good when we play like that, you know, they went to South Dakota, and I, I think they thought they could win. You know, and the same thing the last two games. Um, it's just a matter of us not getting comfortable winning and think it's just going to happen because because it's happened. You know, we need to keep working for victories because we're getting better, but so is everybody else. So it's important that we don't have a bad day of practice, that we continue to compete every day and come out and you know not take anybody for granted and play with a lot of energy. I thought we needed to come out with a lot more energy than we did today. Um, we did enough to win, but I think if we had come out and put them away in the times we had opportunities to put them away, that it wouldn't have been so close. So we're fortunate that that last shot didn't go in. About 50 to go, and Hill and Salter both go out. And you know we talk about our bench advantage, but I was really impressed leaving those five players in there with Hill and Salter got the buck 50 to go mm -hmm. in that critical part of the game and they held their own. Yeah. Now, and not necessarily in the scoring aspect, Yeah. but just held it defensively. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that kept us there so they could come back in with four seconds. Right, later. right. Usually it's the other way around. Sure, sure, yeah. I th And I thought a lot of people did a lot of good things today. Everybody took turns. Malia hit a couple big jump shots in the second half, and that's something she's kind of struggled with. And you know, they doubled Raven pretty much every time she touched it. So other people had to step up and, and make shots. And, you know, that's where Alyssa came in and able to face up and get some good stuff. Motion.